Go and get your cop. Alright, so now that out of the way, let's jump into this video. So um answering the subscriber um email and also doing a consultation with them, they want to know when does an ex their ex really gonna start missing them? Is they on really on the other side thinking about them and stuff like that? So after dealing with a lot of people from different walks of life, I see this one these patterns, so to say. So I wrote them down. So your ex or whoever they might be to you, your spouse, because some of y'all are still married to the person in question. They don't miss you. They miss what you did for them. They miss the access that you gave to them. They miss the sex, your cooking, the resources that you gave to them. But you, your kind heart, and the things that you know you did for them, going out the way for them, they don't miss that. They don't miss that at all. Um, another thing I noticed, right, is they a lot of times they start to miss you when their other relationships, so to say, start to burn out. And they want to hit the reset button. See, nine times out of ten, they're going to go off in the world and do what they're going to do. You know, like I always say, they're going to be a hoe. Because, you know, you see what's going on nowadays. Being a hoe is being you know, glorified. Being a hoe comes with attention. Attention is another form of drug. You understand? Attention is a drug. You understand? Before any other mother drugs came about, the number one drug, attention. And what came next after the attention? Sex. Those two drugs combined together is a lethal combination. So the thing is, they go off in the world, they get all these attachments, you know, they have all these different people's spirit within them, DNA within them, with them, other people baggage, that's children, personalities, demons, all that wrapped up in their body and stuff like that. And, you know, um, their time start running out, so they start thinking about you. Remember, they're not missing you, so to say. They miss the resources. You know, they miss what you did for them. Because when they go out in the world, the other people, they're they not going to do what you did for them. Like, I always go back to the same when grandma told me. Do not chase after people. Let them go look for, you know, let them go find what they're going to look for. You know, they're going to find it. And when they find it, it's going to be not what they was looking for. See, the thing is, keep this in mind. Tell yourself this. You can go out there in the streets and you will never find the love that I gave to you in those streets. So that should give you confidence enough. Confidence enough. Because the thing is, out in those streets, it's cold out there. People only care about themselves. And they just if they want to go in that direction, tough as, tough as it may sound and, you know, it might sound like something you don't want to hear, but you have to let them go. Let them go. Don't let them hit the restart button on you. Remember, they're going to come back. Then they're going to remember why they didn't want you in the first place. And they're going to go out there and be a hoe again. So don't go backwards. You know, don't go backwards. When they hit the wall, so to say, for the, so, some of the people who don't know what hit the wall mean, let's say it in the old terms. When they over the hill, y'all, you understand? When they over the hill, they value going down. You know, nobody don't want them no more. You know, when they burnt out, you know, the edges and all that stuff gone, hit the wall. That's when they, you know, when they do things in circles and come back. And what I'm saying on this channel, don't let them people come back to you. Please upgrade yourself. You understand? Upgrade yourself. Do not be the same person they left. I advise you to always work on yourself. Better yourself. Fall, find the things that you love doing the most and fall in love with it. And focus on your goals and pur purpose intensely like your life depends on it. Because it does. You know, God gave you time, energy, and put laces you in your right mind, giving you strength to wake up in the morning and, you know, to, to go get it, to achieve your goals and dreams. Do not waste your precious time concerning yourself about someone who doesn't want you. If they want you, they'll be there with you. 
I say this all the time. Understand, there is no strategies you can come up with for a person who wants you in their life. If they want you in, your, in their life, there is no strategies. Relationships is not this hard, mysterious thing. Either you get along with a person and you can tolerate that person or you can't. That's all it is. But most people, you know, they love toxic, you know, dysfunction. And they go jump and go in that direction. And they go jump into a toxic, dysfunctional relationship and be surprised when they when they receive dysfunctional, toxic, cheating, bad behavior. And they complain about it. You know what you was doing. You thought that toxic, that drama, all that chaos was fun. But it ain't so fun at the end when that person go do that with someone else and they disregard you for someone else. So that's why I say, always put yourself first. Think about what you're doing. Just don't do things because it feels good. You know? And another and moving on to the last thing I wrote down is this. When you start to boss up in life, level up, get on your grind, your purpose, and hustle nonstop until you until you start to shine. I mean, I'm talking about 365 days on your purpose, nonstop, no days off. You know, most people are like, well, I, got, I work more, I'm, I work all day. I'm a mother or father. I don't have time like that. If you work all day, that, you know, that's a set schedule. Then you got your kids. I understand that. Just take 30 minutes to an hour. Out of, the, out of the time that you're going to go to sleep and probably play a video game or do whatever you do, take that time to do your side hustle. Do whatever it takes. Don't just let your job get the best of you. If you don't know what your purpose is and you're a you know, devoted parent, no, I'm not knocking you. But the thing is, all I'm saying is this. Stack your money. Pay yourself first before you pay anybody else. You know, just stack a little to the side. That's all I'm saying. If it's just 50 cent a week, stack that. That 50 cent gonna stack, then next thing you know, your paper gonna start growing. Just do that. So, when you start leveling up in life, you start doing good, that's when they start to miss you. Keep in mind, like I always say, just because your ex, you're not talking to them. It can be years from now. It can be 30 minutes from now. Your ex always keep tabs on you. They always want to know, is you doing better than them? Is you doing good? How are you doing? Even though if, even though they might be in the world being a hoe, they still want to know, is, you know, how is this person doing? Is it doing good? That's when you get that all-brand all phone call. Hey, what you doing? And you pick up. Hey, I'm doing good, yada, yada, yada. Okay, and they hang up. They checking to see if you still going to be there like a fool when they stop hoeing. They breadcrumbing you. Stay still. Be on pause. So, I advise you, don't be nobody, fool. You know, remember what I tell you. You understand? Remember this and keep burning in your head. If you was a good person in a relationship and you did all you can do for them, because remember, some people you just can't satisfy. Remember that. You just can't satisfy. Only person that can satisfy them is them. The only person that can satisfy you is you. So don't try to go out the way and try to satisfy someone. But if you tried, tried that and you didn't, and if it didn't work, remember that the, the love you have for them, they'll never find it again in them streets. Let them go to the streets. Let them be for the streets. So just keep that in mind. Love, just tell them, just say it in your head. Just like, you know what? The love I had for you, you will never find it again in these streets. Let them go to the streets. And let's see how that work out for them. And another thing I want to address before I jump off this, um, this right here. <laughs> Some of the dumbest, stupidest things I hear that keep people up. Keep them coming back to a toxic, no good relationship. Um, I should just start writing it down. Um, somebody told me, you know, um, you know what, Warren? I know my ex, my spouse, and stuff like that. I know they cheated on me, but cheating is not that bad. They ain't, you know, they ain't bad enough to break the relationship. You know, I can forgive that. 
So I just, I don't like think so. If you turn your cheek to cheating and let them get away from, let them, let them get away with it, what you think going to happen next? Put it like this. If a child go out there and do something that they're not supposed to be doing and they receive no punishment for it, what you think that child going to do again? Think about it. I'll wait. You got it. It clicked, huh? The light went off. You know, for the slow people in the back, you know, they mean they're going to do it again. You know, touch somebody and be like, look, Warren said they're going to do it again. So you shouldn't take them back. Another stupid thing I hear a lot is somebody told me I, I, could, I, I didn't say nothing. I just let the person talk. I kept my cool and like, and they said this. Once a cheater is not always a cheater born. Why? I mean, I cheat one time. Don't mean I'm going to do it again. You just ain't find the right excuse to do it again. You would do it again. Why? Because cheating is like a drug. You got away with it. So you're going to do it again. Wait till you get complacent. Wait till you get bored with that person. Wait till you want some more excitement. I understand. Drama, chaos, dysfunction equals excitement. Wait till they get to, you know, they want that again. Watch what happened. They're going to go rap and run their little raggedy ass right back out there and start cheating on you. That's why I say do not forgive these cheaters. Don't turn the other cheat and all that stuff. I can forgive a cheater. Don't you do that. Because the cheaters, the cheating people tell me with their own mouth that it's fun. It's excitement. Another stupid thing I hear too is this. Let them go. If they come back to me, it's meant to be. I like, hmm? Remember what I, I talk about it all the time. See, they're going to go out there and be a hoe. They're going to be out. They're going to be slutting themselves out. And this goes for women or men. They're going to be slutting themselves out, giving away they, you know, they body part, putting all those sexual demons in them. They can't pair bond. And you mean to tell me if they come back to you, it's meant to be? What that say about you? If you sit there and let them come back to you after the after they know went out there and let the whole village, the neighborhood, the city, the county bust up all up in them, or they know bust up all up in this, everybody else. You mean to tell me that because they came back to you, it's meant to be? Make sense of that for me. Make sense of that. Where it say where do it, it say you have to accept that? Remember, people treat you how you allow them to treat you. You have to teach people how to treat you. So don't let these people come back to you. Teach people how you want to be treated. If they're not treating you like how you set the standards to how you want to be treated, cut them off. As simple as that. No remorse. Remember, it's my way or go, take your ass home. Like my other grandma said on my daddy's side, if they don't like what you got to offer, tell them to skip their ass home. You know, I've been raised by strong older people. This new generation in this, man, I'm just let, I'm just get out the way and let y'all have it. You know, I just, you know, but anyway, another thing, I t you know, that bothers me. And it don't make no damn sense. And this is the last one and I'm going to shut up. Warren, I don't want to die alone. You know, I, I just don't want to be alone. Warren, I just don't want to start all back over and go through that process and start all back over the dating and all that stuff. I, I just, you know, a piece of, uh, one woman said, a piece of a man is better than no man. I'm like, wow, you know, a dude told me like, yeah, man, I'd rather have, you know, a, a piece of a woman in my bed than no woman in my bed, you know, because I don't want to be alone. I don't want to die alone. Now, this is the truth. When you die, you will die alone. Surprise, surprise, because 
Name one person that ever died and God came to them like, hey, since you dying, I got this two for one special. You can pick whoever you want to come on with you. I'll wait. When that ever happened? Whenever you seen bunk bed caskets? Like, hey, dig the hole 12 feet because we got these bunk bed caskets and stuff, you know. When you go, you're going alone. And the thing is, you're not really dying alone by yourself. You're going to have friends, family members, co-workers, close friends, whoever, your kids. That's not dying alone. You got love. You're surrounded by loved ones because you're not having a, you know, an intimate relationship partner next to you when you die. I guarantee you, you ain't going to be thinking about that shit. What you will be thinking about, all the things you didn't do in your lifetime, all the things that you could have did in your lifetime, you didn't have a chance to do. That love and relationship stuff, you're not going to think about that. I guarantee you, you're going to think about, damn, I had an opportunity to go skydiving, write that book, accomplish my goal, start that business, you know, get my body in the better shape that I could have, you know, did. You're going to be thinking about that. Damn, I should have saved a little bit of money. You know, is my kids going to be taken care of when I'm leaving? You're not going to be thinking about, no, well, I'm dying alone. All by myself, I don't got no loved one here. You're not going to think about that. You're going to die alone. You're going in that casket alone. You're going in that dirt alone. You're going to be maggot food for no maggots, no worms by yourself. So that's the harsh reality. Stop all that. That love and that relationship stuff is secondary to your goals. It's something small. Your goals, your dreams, whatever you got an ambition to do on planet Earth, your time is running out. The average person have 3,000, 30,000 days to live. I think that's right, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's 30,000 days. I think you, the average person lives to 70, 80 years old. I think that's 30,000 days. If you know, put it in the comments. So with that being said, the more this video is this. Don't worry about it if they're thinking about you or not. Worry about what you're going to do with your time and your energy. These great relationships come and go. Build your foundation and let the mother all brand ass people go on by their, by their life. Remember, if they, if they want to stay in your life, then you make them earn you. If they want to go, you let them go. Simple as that. And, you know, um, nah, I ain't going to say nothing, but that's it. You know, if you need to get in contact with me, I'm here. You know, um, you can send me an email. The email is at the bottom of the screen, bottom of the page. You know, my books, links in the description, links in the description. You know what I'm saying? You can go there or you can text me on WhatsApp if you need to get in contact with me and we can set up a time to talk. With that being said, take care of yourself and stay prayed up. I always put God first and I'll be here whenever you need. Peace.